are at the Newton Hotel in Northern Scotland at the 2012 and Beyond Conference. And one of the very interesting people here are, are you, Hong Xiao. Hong Chi Xiao. Hong Chi Xiao. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it just to say it. Weird name. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. So, uh, you come just now, you just come from Taiwan, where your book is the best, on the top of the bestseller list. Mm -hmm. And it's about how to heal yourself. Yep. Free and easily. Yep. And your claim is that people can do that Everybody. Yeah. Can you say something about it? What what is the what's the most important message that you have? Actually, uh, just now upstairs, I was rewriting the book because it's going to be republished in mainland China. When people are talking about healing, they always wait to be healed by someone. But that is not the real classical tradition from the Chinese medicine. The oldest classical book about medicine is actually not about medicine. It's about the relationship between human being and the nature, between the body and the soul. So when you talk about medicine, you're actually talking about the Tao. You know, Tao. Yeah, yeah Tao, the Tao. So in a way, you have to adjust yourself to match the big nature as a humankind. So this is something to be managed by yourself, not waited to be healed by somebody else. So ideally, everyone should be one's own doctor. But that kind of tradition has long lost because of many, many reasons, especially nowadays. It's all industrialized. Even you know, the medicine, you, you can call it health, med health industry. Yeah, yeah. So when, because I'm not a, a doctor by profession, I studied uh, you know, economics in China and then MBA in the business school you know, in the US called Thunderbird. And then I went to work in New York for a couple of years in Wall Street. Then I was transferred to Hong Kong and worked there, still in the finance area for over 10 years. But after that, I got more and more interested in Chinese culture. I thought I should do something I really enjoy doing. So I, first of all, I began to write a book. It's about investment banking. It's, it's a novel, a fiction. And after that, that's, that's a great success. It's quite a you know, best seller in China. When, when did you write this book? That's published in 2003. Uh -huh. Then I began to do you know, the screenwriting or the scripts for the Beijing's Olympic Games opening ceremony. Because yeah. it's all about Chinese culture and history. Mm -hmm. After that... I Were you writing that for the authorities? Or was it, uh, was it your version of it? How you made that it should Actually, be? it's supposed to be beating by many, many teams. Oh, yeah. And ultimately, because I teamed up with the, the famous director, An Li, uh -huh. in the United States, we were in the same team. But then, our team was not chosen as the final, so we thought, okay, maybe somebody else is better. But then, it turned out to be ours. The whole version is our version, so it's ironic. Maybe the, the authorities have already decided who is the director, who directs this. Yeah. But then they need to, you know, some... Well, that sounds a bit shady, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So after that, I began to fully focus on Chinese medicine. Because during that... Uh, Without any, any history of, of uh, relations in that field? Oh, or there are big relations. I grew up in a doctor's family, uh -huh. but two. My mother is a Western medicine doctor. But my uncle, which is my, who is my mother's brother, mm. traditional Chinese doctor, yeah. I can see the huge difference between the two. When my mother opened that kind of Western medical doctor, it's like, a, I always laughed, it's like a carpenter's box. 
because all you have all kinds of knives, chops, blah blah. <laughs> Butcher style. Yeah, butcher style. Yeah, but for Chinese medical doctor, you need nothing. Just you have the hands. needles. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. So when I wrote that novel, I already wrote quite some pieces about the Chinese medicine, Chinese Confucianism, Taoism, and the Buddhism. Yeah. While well, during that screenwriting for the Olympic game. Opening ceremony, I got more focus on the Chinese history and the, and the Taoism. Mm. And during that period of time, I received an email from one of my readers, and he said, I want to have a talk with you because I'm really fascinated by your book. There is a lot of talking about the Taoism and the Chinese medicine. I said, Yeah, bingo, let's see. When I opened the door, I found out this is a Buddhist monk. So it's really strange. So when he looked at me, he said, when I read a book, I felt that you, in your previous life, you must have been a Taoist. Now when I have a look at your face, I'm fully convinced. <laughs> your previous life must be a Taoist. Yes. And then I feel that too, you know, just from talking to you. It's, it's just for listening to this story. <laughs> Then he said, you should leave your beer, because I never you know, had to look like this before. No. I said, why? He it's said, Tao. as a Taoist, yes. you should have a Taoist look. Yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, I may have a try, because I don't want to have a shaving every day anyway. I'm a lazy person. So from then on, I began to have my you know, yeah. beard. And then this. you don't have a tail yet. <laughs> Which you should have. So he said, okay, you should, you should follow a route. Then you can find more encounters of your previous life. You will find your karma, or Chinese word, yuan fen. Yuan is a very Buddhist word. I translate it as hidden link, which is kind of link invisible to your eyes, but you can see it is there. So people think, you know, this must be a joke. And how could you believe this? Then I was just curious. I said, okay, where so should I go? Not, you were not uh, involved in spiritual groups or this style of practicing? No, not day. at all. So you were a businessman at heart still back then? Or, yeah. Or interested in more, yeah. uh, uh, what you say, outward uh, so social things? Yeah. yeah, but more culturally, of course, I yes, was yes, exactly. curious about the exactly. Chinese culture and the Taoism and the Chinese yeah. medicine. Yeah, but more from an outside Yeah, world never really got involved with healing. No, no. He said, if you follow the route of your previous life, then you can find something really interesting. And what did you find? I asked, where, where did I stay in my previous life? Yeah. And he gave me a list. One of them is the Wudang Mountain. That's a very famous Taoist mountain. Then the West Hunan province. West Hubei province, then another mountain in the south called the Nanyue, very famous Taoist and Buddhist mountain. Then all the way up to Beijing, there is a very famous uh, Taoist temple called Bai Yunguan, or White Cloud Temple. I've heard about this temple. Yeah, and he said that's the route. Yes, and that's if also a very old tradition. Yeah, mm -hmm. and my friends would lo normally laugh at me. Do you believe, really believe in this kind of bullshit? <laughs> And I not only believe in it, I just put on my bag, boom, I just followed, exactly followed the route. And to my great surprise, I did find something really, really interesting. All kinds of healers. They don't use medicine. No, you know, not even herbal stuff. One of the most fascinating things is to acupressure. They just use the fingers. Mm -hmm. That guy, treated all the people who have been paralyzed. You know, got a strike, like half body paralyzed. Yes. And he treated them with nothing, just fingers, acupressure. And it's amazing. I saw him did all these things, and he invited me to join him. I said, why do you want me to learn from you? He said, I'm here in the mountainous area. Nobody knows who I am. And if you learn a little bit, you can do some demonstration in Beijing. <laughs> 
So I did learn that for a month. Then one day, an old 70 year old man who got a stroke came and paralyzed. And I worked on him with air pressure for like three or four days. And then he began to work. So it's really amazing experience to myself. So I was you know, very excited. I think, okay, when I got back to Beijing, I could heal people with this technique. But then, to my great disappointment, I found out it's impossible to do this in Beijing. Do you know why? No, no. Because all the patients are in the hospitals. Yes. And the hospital would never allow you to do to this. To come kind in of the middle of their business. No. Yeah. But then at that time, the monk appeared again. He said, okay, you got enough. You should learn something else. You should learn acupuncture. Then he found me an acupuncture, acupuncturist. And that acupuncturist teacher, he is not an acupuncturist by profession. He's a geologist. See, in China, we learn this medicine, they are not doctors. So, but I also, what you also are telling me now, that there is... Uh awakening of old knowledge, old wisdom yep. that's coming and, uh, and reminding people who have done this in previous life. Yep. Previous, and that's, uh, so this is quality that's coming forward now, which is very fascinating, which is uh, exciting to hear. Even and you see this is the same yeah. thing in the West. <laughs> the people healing, you know, people with healing abilities, they come, suddenly they, they do all all sorts of work, different work and they turn. So you have this uh, the same yeah. thing happening in China. Yeah. And it's so interesting to hear you tell because we don't know so much about China. To cut the story short, from that master and another master, I learned all kinds of skills, skills all kinds of techniques. Yes. But then I summarized and studied very carefully. Was it uh, difficult for you to learn or was it just easy to pick up? For me, it's easy. Yes. I tell you how to uh, how I learned acupuncture. Yes. I think you have to always be very close to the real clinical practice uh -huh. if you do learn Chinese medicine. Yes. So when I learn acupuncture, I begin to use the needles on that very first day. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want to wait until tomorrow. No. So I begin to put the needles into my own body first. Yes. And the next day I begin to you know, here are the people. So in one month, we learned on the way. Actually, I, together with the Taoist and with my teacher, we walk on the way to this mountain, that mountain, this temple, that temple. But on the way, I learn it and then heal people. But uh, if I may ask you, mm -hmm. the way I understand people learn acupuncture is by telling the story, by telling stories. So while it's much more naming different parts in Western medicine, you have to know the relationship between that energy and that. And that's told in a story like it's a family mm -hmm. and the uncle says this to the grandmother and yep. so that's the reaction and so, so it's, more, it's more storytelling, it's more, it's, it's more Taoism in the learning. Mm -hmm. Is that correct or am I... Uh, before 1949, all this kind of heritage of Chinese medicine yes. is either through masters, disciples, yes. or fathers and sons. Yes. Mm. But after 1949, when the so-called communist China came into power, mm. no more this kind of system. No. They began to do. Oh, they began to set up a kind of uh, university of Chinese medicine. Yes. And I studied that. Yes. I did some research on that. Yes they are totally a waste of time and money. Because these are the schools that have been totally westernized. Yes. In the name of Chinese medicine, maybe less than half Chinese medicine. It's all Western medicine. Plus, it's all standardized. But Chinese medicine is a very open system. Every, let's say we heal the same problem, same disease. You and I or another five people, and they may use different techniques but they can all heal the same disease, mm. which is good. Mm. Some people think this is bad because there is no mm. criteria. No, I say no. the best criteria is the effect itself. Yes. If you can heal this person, yes. that's okay. Mm. So to make the story short, I learned so many things, but then I summarized that we need to find out the two most important techniques 
that can be easily used by everybody, not just by the magicians, by the doctors or the very famous doctors, should be used by everybody to heal themselves. But to do that, you have to meet four criteria. Number one, it has to have great effect. If it has no effect, nobody is going to use it. That's number one. Number two, it has to be simple. How simple? You can learn it in one minute. Is that simple enough? Yeah. Number three, it has to be safe. No side effect. Number four, this is very important. Number four, there are so many different techniques and ways and the methodologies. But they use one way or one method to heal only one disease. But number four, my criteria is that if you use this technique, it heals hundreds of thousands of different diseases. That is really, really important. That is a big claim. Yeah, big claim. So when I, when I did kind of TV show in mainland China, the director, because they would require some audience, 20 to 30 people audience to, to shoot the TV. Yeah. They ask what kind of audience do I need? I said just ask those who are heavily sick. Yeah. Very heavy, you know, back pain, lower back pain or knee pain, couldn't, could, those who couldn't kneel down. They said why? I said I will let you see the instant result. I said how dare you do that? I said I dare. Yeah. Okay, they said fine. So they arranged the whole setting exactly as I require. The, almost all the audience are over 60 and 70. They have all sorts of problems, especially the pain problem. Because the pain problem is easily to show the result. Yeah. I have to make sure each individual ha does have the problem. So like one lady who couldn't you know, kneel down, I said, okay, this is true. And the other lady couldn't, you know, even a small step, couldn't get up. I yeah. said, okay, this is true. Then began, we began to do the, the stretching which you tried yeah, just yeah. now. Then just after a few minutes, then do again. Yeah. Then they can kneel down, mm -hmm. they can, you know, walk on the step. Wow, yeah. people applauded. It's, it's really great, so I'm, I'm, I'm telling the truth. So gradually more and more people begin to read my book. So the, actually my book began... So on TV they saw that these uh, audience, they were healed. They yeah, were... instantly. Yes. But at that the beginning, must have been a great success. My teacher use this kind of technique only for the pain problems. Yes. But I soon, very soon found out I can use this to heal all kinds of women's problems. Mm. Like the period pain problem yeah. and some tumor in their yeah. you know, lower bed, you know, the, the st stomach yeah. and also constipation yeah. and their high blood pressure yes. and the insomnia yeah. and for men all sorts of uh, prostate, prostate problems. Yes. So far, the people I, you know, work down, yeah. the effect rate is 100%. Every single of them has the effect. Okay. Like the old man yeah. will get up every night, yeah. many times, you know, to yeah. go to the toilet. Yes. But now, you know, it's gone. But can you show us uh, the uh, basic techniques? Uh, can you do that? It's uh, easy. Yes. We can use uh, two chairs. Okay. We invented the kind of patent product, this kind of bench. Yes. But now if you don't have a bench, yes. you can put two chairs okay. like this. Oh yeah. In a door or kind of wall like this. Yes. Put one leg up. See? Yes. All the way down, you see your arms down. Yes. See by doing so, all the meridians here. Yes. Stretched up. Yes. And also here, all the meridians here, they are liver, kidney, and spleen. Yes. And here you got heart, mm -hmm. lungs, big intestine, all this. And also on your back, there are four gallbladder meridians, all in a stretch bar. How long do you have to stay there for? Normally, you know, 10 minutes. Oh, yeah? But for the beginners or those who are very old, 
yeah. and the very sick, yes. maybe two or three minutes, depends. Yeah, okay. Those who are very sick will get very painful here and yeah. here. Yeah. Depends on what kind of diseases you yeah. have. Yes. But this is really easy. You can see you can learn it in one minute. Yes. For the yoga practitioners, they can do it in, you know, up to 20, 30 minutes. Uh -huh. Then you have all sorts of symptoms. Yes. Very effective. Yes. So gradually more and more people to do this. I began to do a kind of lecturing everywhere. In Taiwan, there's a big audience in the stadium, over, you know, a thousand people. And even I did the big uh, kind of speech to the Taiwan's Congress. Because the Congress chairman also loved this. And sometimes in the family's or friend's home, we can say this is called a stretching party. You can also do the slapping. But uh, you must show the slapping because that's, that's you know, the central... Uh, that's really easy. See, you can, theoretically, you can slap from, you know, your head, all these, you know, joints, everywhere. Yeah. But ideally, you, you slap those joints first. But here, this is a very good part to begin with. You slap yeah. with the right hand on the left arm. Yeah, then this hand with this one. Well, it, uh, yeah. By doing so for a few minutes, yes. those who have heart diseases, yes. heart diseases, and lung diseases, yes. they will have the dark parts here. Yes. Very easily. Yeah. And the point is you slap very hard. Yeah, yeah, so as hard as you can. And also on your knees, you can do this. Of course, with your, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hit yeah. this and Bend. this. And like this at the back. Yes. For those who have the constipation yes. problems, yes. you do like this on your hands. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But you have to be very heavily. Very heavy. like, yeah. For 10 minutes or 15 minutes. For 10 minutes, minutes 15 minutes, it's all up to you. Yeah. Because everyone's but case look here, is different. I already... Ah, you see? You can see, you can do more, you do more. Yeah, heavily. This is really... Where do I have problems? Uh, look at this. See, this is the heart, this is the heart. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do I have problems with the heart? You do. But that does, does not necessarily mean you have to go to have a surgery. No. Because it's still the functioning problem. Yeah. It's not, you know, that deteriorating to that degree yet. Yeah. But you don't have to wait until you have a surgery. That's right. To have a, you know, Passover or something like that. Uh. So. So the, the, this is both a diagnostic method and a, and treat, a, healing. Yeah. a treatment uh, yeah. method. Yeah. So if I, how much to get rid of this? How much do I have to slap? Depends on how, how old you are. How heavy your diseases are, yeah. you can just keep on doing this. Oh, I see. Maybe in an hour, if or I two hours, they will be gone. If I have cholesterol in the blood, would that show up like this? Yeah, they so will be is, gone. Yeah. So yeah. this is. Do you think this could be cholesterol? Could be all sorts of problems. Oh, yeah. We don't want to analyze, well, you know, okay, analyze it in detail, but you can you can be sure that there are problems. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't have this. No, exactly. And some people... If I keep slapping, what would happen then? You see, now this is called yin. Yeah. Yin, the yin chi. Yeah. You got chi, right? You got yes. yin chi and yang chi. Yes. And the yin is getting out by, you know, slapping. Oh, yeah. Then gradually got hotter and hotter in your body. Yes. Then the yang, you know, get stronger and stronger. Then the yang chi will conquer the yin. Then the yin will disappear. That's how, you know, the healing happens. Oh, yes. Yes. It's so naturally happens. Yes, yes, exactly. You don't need any injection. No. No, you know, surgery, no medicine. Mm. I give a name for this too, slapping yes. and stretching. It's called antivirus system because it's easy to be understood. When you do this, you activate your own healing system in your own body. So it, it, they will automatically scan your whole body. Mm. Wherever they find that a virus, mm. they begin to work on it. So it's computer uh, it's language. It's language. <laughs> yeah. yeah all right. for a, let's say for a couple, mm. the man has high blood pressure. Mm. You do this, 
the pressure will get lower.、Mm. But for his wife, it's low blood pressure. Then you do the same thing: stretching, slapping. Then the blood pressure and, will and increase. And you would slap here, or would you slap for for low blood pressure? What way would you slap then? The same joint place, and also here. Same place. So for most diseases, you slap here and you slap your knees and you slap and the the hands、hand. and the feet. And the, how how do you slap the feet? Feet is easy. You see, you just sit on a chair. Yes. See, this is easy. Oh yeah. Very、okay. easy. Yeah. yeah. The reason is simple because the two feet and the two hands、yes. are the ends or the beginnings. For all meridians,、yes. if you have a look at the chart of the Chinese yes, meridian yes, system yes, on the body,、yes. you can see that.、Yes. So with this, it's like average. It's very, very effective for those who have the constipation problem.、Yeah. You hear this for like ten minutes for each hand,、yeah. very heavily, of course.、Yeah. You have very charming result. <laughs> On the same day, I try that on many people, especially on the old people. Very、yeah. effective, yeah. Okay, and、um, I, I think this is very fascinating. And where do you go from here? What do you do next now?、Uh... I'm going back to China, but then、uh, next month I'm going to Malaysia to do three big lectures. Yeah. And how did you、uh, come? Why did you come here to this 2012 and beyond conference? Because the organizer, the founder, Bison, the Shen Foundation, a、uh, very close friend of mine, and Bison used to be an、uh, acupuncturist. Yes. We've been friends for almost 30 years. Yes. Always in connection with each other. Oh. And actually, I was here last January. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the last conference. I think this is all related with each other. Yes. My healing way is so specific. So concrete, it's related with every single family and single person. You don't need any medicine, injection, or dog, you know, e- equipment. You just need your own hands and mindset. So this very, how to say, a kind of green healing method. Very friendly environmentally. So it's it's really good for, you know. I think it's 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 and it's free. Yeah, it's free. Plus, it's free. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Hang Xia, Xiao. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It was very good to hear. Thank you. <laughs>